Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. On this video I'm going to talk all about the new DJI Fly app update 1.5.1 and this is build 1980 for Android. Now a week or so ago we got the previous build 1.5.0 uh, that was build 1870 I believe um, and straight off the bat uh, one thing to tell you is I have scrolled through the menus on the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini 2 and the DJI Air 2 and I have noticed no particular difference uh, in terms of any features or functionality anywhere. However, there is a little couple of things to note. First of all, on all of the drones using the DJI Fly app, there is a FlySafe database update. So of course, if you have more than one DJI drone, you are going to have to systematically go through every single one and update the FlySafe database. Of course, that will prompt you whenever you plug in the relevant drone to the DJI Fly app. Now, a couple of things to note on this video, what I'm going to do is again, very quickly, just test some of the features we knew wasn't particularly working on the DJI Mini 2. Um, one of them primarily being that gimbal yaw reset or the aircraft yaw reset. Um, and when I go through to the menu and give that a little test, you can see that still does not actually uh, reset properly. However, if we flick to the DJI Air 2S, just to put you in the picture, that does reset absolutely fine and of course when it comes to the DJI Mavic Mini that unfortunately doesn't have any options to be able to adjust the aircraft rotation speed so of course there is nothing to go wrong there. Um, so one thing to note as well is again reading some of your comments while I was waiting to film this video I think somebody had a problem with the DJI Mavic Mini uh, where there was an issue and it wouldn't actually spin the props up um, within uh, on location or whatever it was. Now, I actually had a very weird experience with the DJI Mavic Mini when I wanted to look through it. Um, and for some reason, uh, when I tried to sort of spin the props and just make sure that it would actually take off if I wanted it to, I got a really weird message with the DJI Fly app 1.5.1 telling me that there was an incompatible incompatible firmware um, obviously we know fine well there's not been a firmware update on the DJI Mavic Mini for a hell of a long time um, obviously it's well defunct now in terms of DJI's uh, updates and software updates and firmware updates and you know it's at the end of its product life let's be completely honest uh, however I was getting this issue and of course it wouldn't actually let me spin the props or basically take off or do anything now a quick turning off of the drone and turning it back on again did it seem to clear this message but of course a little worrying that we did actually get it to begin with um so yeah just to put you in a picture with that one as I've already mentioned on the DJI Mini 2, having a good flick through all of the menus, um, everything seems to be exactly as it was. Of course, you know, if we look at the, the release notes with this DJI Flight App update, uh, there isn't anything really to say. There isn't any new features, just fixes, bugs and uh, bits and pieces like that, of course. But of course... As I've just said, I can't actually see anything new. Um, and of course, it's the exact same situation with the Air 2S. I have had a really good play around all of the menus um, and I cannot actually see anything that is actually new. One person just before I started filming this said about this radar toggle button, but of course that was on the last update, which was 1.5.01870. So just to point out, the only way you can actually get this update is by using the inbuilt app update feature. If you try to download from the DJI website, you are going to get the 1855 version. But of course, if you do it through the app, this is the version 1980 that it actually installs onto your Android device. But ultimately, you know, apart from that, the, the video cache still doesn't seem to work. I understand, of course, if you go into your gallery on the DJI Fly app, you can download the HD version to your device for then editing. That that's not what people are talking about. What people are talking about is you generally got a low resolution version of your footage, whether it be a video or whether it be a photo, and it would automatically download onto your device. Um, like I say, a, a low res version, but that isn't happening and that is actually still the case. But apart from that, it does seem relatively stable. So what I want to do is very quickly cut to the test flight with the DJI Mini 2. So taking
taking the DJI Mini 2 out on location. The reason I do this is because of course I want to test certain flight characteristics. I like to test a return to home. I like to make sure the compass is pointed in the right direction and test just the maps and just honestly just go through all the little nitty gritty details and it's okay testing a drone on the bench but really need to see the flight performance. So as it's getting to dusk then I have got my LED lights strapped to the legs of my drone. They are really really good at aiding visual line of sight and if you want to see my review video I will leave a, uh, a an end screen at the end of this video so please do go check that out and of course if you want to buy them I will leave a link in the video description and you can use my code Gavin HR for a nice little discount and of course you get worldwide shipping as well so you can buy them no matter where you are watching these but yeah really great product so onward we fly then and just a little test of the compass it does seem to be looking like it's working absolutely fine if I move my body to the left you can see the little green indicator at the top which turns blue if I go to the right it turns blue again and if I'm pointing the controller towards the drone you can see the little arrow goes green and that basically means that you are efficiently pointing the controller towards the drone which of course is what you want to do for the best signal so as we are heading out then one of the features I do like to test is the return to home so as we're heading out let's just hit that return to home and then what we will do is we'll just wait for this to come back now one thing to mention as well is I have brought this up on a couple of occasions now regarding the negative altitude reading uh, now I can be openly and honest and tell you that I have not actually had it on my DJI Mini 2 however I am now aware that some of you are uh, thank you to those of you that have sent me videos um, one of my subscribers sent me a video early for me to check out and indeed when you was flying on that beach on the DJI Mini 2 it was given a negative altitude. I've only seen it on my Air 2S, uh, nothing else. Not to mention of course I have reported that it is the case on the DJI Mavic 3. But as I come into land that does actually look perfectly fine and I've got absolutely no grumbles with that. So to finish up the flight test let's go ahead and try a quick shot then. Um, I'm going to use the old faithful circle quick shot and while we're executing that one thing I'd like to mention is those of you that do actually struggle with these you need to make sure that the clothes you are wearing really do differentiate you from the background or from the terrain with which you are flying of course this camera has to be able to track you um, and if you're not wearing you know a, a a colour that really stands out or if you're wearing the same colour uh, clothing as your background for example you know the drone might lose you but ultimately as you can just see I'm wearing black in a green environment and it has executed that quick shot absolutely fine. I have also been out with the Mavic Mini as I've just mentioned and the DJI Air 2S and I suffered no further problems. One little bug I found quite annoying is even after I'd updated the uh, DJI Fly app and logged in for some reason it kept prompting me to accept these terms and conditions and if you're still with me on this video don't forget if you do have the DJI Air 2S or if you're in the States with the uh, DJI Mavic Air 2 for some reason every time you update the DJI Fly app it actually turns off AirSense so every single time you need to go in and you just turn that back on otherwise it will be off and of course as you know I think that AirSense is an absolutely superb safety feature and I've done a feature video on this as well. So that wraps up the video guys, you can see I've tested it on three of DJI's drones Overall, I cannot really report any major problems other than the ones we already know about. Everything seems to work absolutely fine for me. But of course, as usual, I would urge you to exercise caution. The very simple reason is, of course, these are my findings and my results. You, of course, may have a different experience. But as far as I'm concerned, this is my flight test and you can use this information and my opinion to decide whether you want to install this app or not. Of course, if you do install it and you're not quite happy, don't forget for Android users, I've hosted all of the previous APKs in my Google Drive and the link is in the video description below. So if you do get into any problems, you can very simply roll back to an older version. So that wraps up the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really is appreciated and see you again soon.